And for me, even though this is the 15th year that we're doing it, is this is as exciting as the first time. We are honored by the presence of judges, lawyers, accountants, professors, and executives from the public and private sectors in Israel. The attempt to settle the decision regarding Brut and that regarding Lahav in the case before us has its rational, however, notwithstanding, it is wise, in my opinion, to keep from expanding the profit criterion and its borders. Judge Torres holds that XRP, the underlying cryptocurrency, can be a security, uh, rather its sale can be an investment contract um, that's subject to the securities laws under the Howey test, where it is sold to institutions who understand that their money is going to be used in a productive enterprise. I'm going to talk about do uh, developments in the doctrine of our Karamark case law. What are the elements that we need to consider when we think about what is the reasonable level of due diligence that we should expect for? What should we think now about the role of special litigation committees under Israeli law? The way we treat settlements with derivative lawsuits is very different from usual adversarial process. As long as the members of the committee were flawless, then the court should not look into the merits of its conclusion. And you see that the analysis starts with analyzing the civil aspects of the fiduciary duties of directors. What we do in this project is we create a social network of the firms who interact with each other on deal to deal. An important point is that continuation funds it's a booming phenomena in the private equity. They should explore the entire possibilities all over again in order to see whether the needs and the problems that are leading the controlling shareholder. It seems fair to be cautious because if the statute applies and if its requirements are not met, nothing else matters. So thank you so much and see you all next year in uh, the new venue. Thanks so much.